So hello and welcome along to this which is going to be the first ride test and review of the AJS Barletta. Now first glimpses of the bike it does look one beautiful scooter. Lines on it are absolutely perfect you've got the pop-out foot pegs for your pillion. Great idea. Lovely wide seat on this and just look at the depth of that seat. Nice little bit in the middle just to hold your legs and your thighs well thought out seat on this rear rack chrome cover to the exhaust disc brakes front and back and everything on this bike is led so no worries about bulb changes a couple of little extras that i found the obligatory scooter bag clip usb charger and your phone holder to the front but just look at the front of that bike it just sets that bike off emblazoned with the AJS logo and those blue and white colours really run through the bike looks absolutely amazing side stand main stand and a kick start should the battery go flat on your controls everything's as normal you've got start kill switch hazard lights across on the left horn indicators high beam low beam and the pass light by pressing down on your low beam Rear brake, front brake and these mirrors. Now, for a tiny little mirror, I wasn't expecting to get a good view of the road, but off of these mirrors, they're very easy to just adjust. And once you're moving, they don't move, but just look at the view behind. You can just see all the cars behind. Really good view, and if you set it right, you won't get any shoulder in those mirrors. So, pop it off the main stand. Let's have a look at the display. Kilometres to the outside, miles to the inside, and finally someone has come up with the idea of putting black on white letters i hate silver on white or silver on another color or even white on a silver background you can't see it but very easy to see the display on this you've got your fuel gauge there and your trip and your mileage there and your telltales once again on the bottom just looking down very easy to see you've got management light your indicators are there and then your high beam and low beam once the bike is running so let's just fire up the bike lovely quiet engine on this and just check how bright that main beam light is so the telltales are exceedingly bright even from back here i can still see whether the indicators or the main beam is on that is what you want from a bike grips on this rubber grips with a little bit of chrome to the inside and once again very easy to hold and they're super comfortable so as I say on my reviews, no punches pulled. Let's get the feet up onto those rubber sliders to protect the plastics. But just look, rolling around and I'm doing literally about five mile an hour. Very easy to manage. Just a little bit of back brake, just a feather, just to control the bike. So you just squeeze on that back brake, but just see how tight a circle you can turn on this. Very easy and very manageable. Now once you get the power on god does it go yes this barletta so far on the ride down was really good so we shall see what it's like on the long run and obviously it is a brand new bike which means we are limited to 40 to 45 mile an hour on a brand new bike to run the engine in but I have been told once these are run in, you can get a decent speed out of them. Out onto the dual carriageway we go. Let's get some power on and see how quick it takes to get up to 40 mile an hour. There we go, and we are there already. So 40 mile an hour, nice and steady, but there is still at least half a throttle to still go through. So plenty of power, plenty of torque. We will put all the spec up while I'm doing the ride test. So while we're doing this, get an eyeful of the spec that is up on the screen now. Check out all the technical spec, the height, the seat, the length, the tank size, the kilowatts and the horsepower. You can check all that out. But comfort wise, this seat is super comfy. And it really does, that little bit that I was showing you, cutouts for the thighs, really does give a nice feeling to your posterior very easy to manage and once again the controls on this are very very easy to use even with summer or winter gloves on the controls are very easy to use on this so just get the power on coming out the corner now the tires on this are 12 inch tires 
which is what you would find on most scooters so you're running 110 70 12s on it and then same on the back end as well but great little tires on this super efficient super handling and it does the job now it's just the aesthetics of this bike it looks really really good i'm quite surprised how well from a distance this bike stands out and it's it's just the design of it it's really good have a look at the main pictures that we have up on the page of this <coughs> but when you actually compare it to the looks of other scooters and other scooters have been around for two or three years now same model and they just bring out a euro 5 version with exactly the same chassis AJS have really pulled out the stops to make the design of this look really sleek and elegant so if you're using this to go to the shops if you're using it as a college thing or you just fancy a twist and go scooter this by letter with the colour scheme the comfort the handling is really good so what's it like into the corners just easing it through the corners and believe me look at this you can just literally flick it around with your backside so it's very easy to manage just a little wiggle of the backside there just to show you how easy and lightweight this bike is so if you're an older rider and you don't want the heavy weight of a scooter this thing is very manageable to use so it would suit someone obviously youngster or of the retirement age where you just want to get out and have a little bit of freedom and get out with your friends at the weekend and have a little run on the bike and there's nothing better than being out on a bike on two wheels for a little bit of therapy so let's give it the reach score rideability i can't fault it it's a 10 out of 10. economy once again these 125s do absolutely shed loads of miles to the gallons so a full 10 out of 10. the affordability yes it is a little bit highly priced a little bit more and the price is up on the screen that came up with the technical spec but you've got to remember it's ajs so you know the build quality is going to be there and they really have gone to town with some great bikes this year ajs so the bar letter is yet another one that is really good so affordability i'm going to give it a nine because it is a little bit more priced than your cheaper chinese scooters but you are getting a lot more bike and a lot more class for the money comfort once again can't fault it this seat is absolutely superb really does tuck into your thighs i've got loads of room to move my legs around but the seat is really good so the comfort is absolutely spot on 10 out of 10 there well done on a decent seat finally and as for the handling well you've just seen me flicking it around it really does handle exceptionally well for a lighter scooter compared to some of the other bikes that are quite heavy when you go into the, your main brand bikes so this thing is really good so the handling on this once again a 10 out of 10 49 out of 50 well done ajs finally a scooter where i can actually see the clocks i've got some tiny mirrors but i can see the road so and it does set the bike off well with those round mirrors the comfort on this seat is great they thought of everything they've put some uh, rubber sliders down there where your feet would go on the plastics to save the damage and it'd be the same as what you would see on the medina as well or your other main brand very well known scooters that all the scooter boys ride they all have the rubber inserts as well absolutely spot on grips on this are lovely so even bouncing around most of the vibration with these deep rubber grips really goes so that is the ajs barletta it is available we have plenty of these in stock they do come in multiple colors so as always if you are interested give the number at the end of the video a call sales team are waiting to take your calls and if you do have any questions pop them down in the description below and we will answer those for you but until the next test ride where we are out riding be well ride safe and as always it's a big goodbye from me Thank you.